Georgia Tech plays Florida State Saturday night in the ACC Championship. Quayshawn Neely's been a valuable piece of this jacket defense and this ball club, in fact, as a whole. Quay, when you guys get on the field Saturday night, the stakes are pretty high. Do you think about that this week leading up to the ball game? Yeah, I mean, we're going to have a, a great, we're going to need to have a great uh, week of practice. And uh, the stakes are very high. I mean, in the beginning of the season, uh, you know, nobody would have never thought that we would have made it to the AC championship. But uh, with Coach Johnson and us battling as a team and playing for each other, you know, we did it and made it. And, uh, you know, we're not done yet. And, you know, our back is still against the wall. We got a big team ahead of us. And, uh, Really looking forward to playing for the state. I know coaches, media, fans, players process things in a lot of different ways. What do you take from last Saturday to use this Saturday? Um, I just take that, uh, you know, right off the back that we need to start better. You know, um, we came out flat. Those guys, I mean, even though it wasn't the ACC championship game or something like that, but they, they played with, you know, that, that swagger and that we had the past couple of games, you know, and um, I, I just take take from it that um, we need to get better as a whole this week as just uh, coming out and fighting for, for what we want. Mentally, and I'm going to use the term high stakes here because Saturday was a rival game. This Saturday is a championship game. Mm -hmm. Mentally, is it hard to drive it in high stakes games? Can you do it once and then have a hard time doing it again? Because essentially... The way I look at it, Maryland, Carolina, Duke were all high stakes games given what y'all were trying to do. Yes, sir. So in other, when you do it for three games, is it hard to do it a fourth time regardless of how high the stakes are, how big a rival it is? And now here's a championship game. Is it mentally hard to do or is it physically hard to do? Well, I mean, it's, it's, I would say both because it wears and tears on your body because um, you, you're trying to give it every week you know, um, day in and day out, even in practice, you know, you're trying to give it your best so when you get out there in the game, you can fly around. Um, it, it definitely uh, is a, a struggle uh, mentally too because, I mean, you have your drives where, you know, the offense might go three and out and put the defense back on the field and things like that. And, you know, everything um, doesn't always go your way and you got to learn how to face the adversity. But, um, when you look past that and with the leaders on our team um, pushing us um, towards, you know, what we want, which is essentially a, a win, mm -hmm. essentially a win, and um, it, it helps out. It, it truly does help out. And I, I would just say it just goes both ways. All right. For a guy who's a sophomore, you've played a lot of football here in two years. Yes, sir. What, what have you learned this year that will be most handy for you on Saturday night? Um, just go out there and just play hard. Play with your all and uh, know that – your teammate has your back. I mean, that's the best feeling, um, you know, going into any type of fight that, you know, your teammate is right there with you. And um, whatever you're going through, he's going through as well. And, um, you know, you don't want to let down your teammate. You don't want to come in here on Monday, um, the following week or whatever, and look at film and know that, you know, your team, he, I mean, your teammate is battling his butt off. And why aren't you contributing as much as you can, you know? and things like that. And I learned that, you know, when you depend on one another, it, it truly helps the group as a whole. And, um, you know, it, it builds that power that we, we had, you know, the last couple of three games. I don't know what happened last week, but it really does build like uh, a balance to the team that is really needed, so. You know you guys won't be favored. Oh yeah, no doubt in, in uh, the conference we weren't favored. Yeah, I mean, does that, does that come into play here? Uh, the respect piece? Exactly. Uh, uh, I'm glad you said that because in the, the teleconference they asked me um, a question about, um, you know, they want Florida State to represent the ACC better than us and would we be amped up? Of course we would be amped up, you know, <laughs> and stuff like that. It, it really does play a role in, um, you know, not just me. Uh, we we're going to take in consideration, you know, that, you know, that is on the line, you know, the respect for uh, – for uh, the game or whatever. Sure. So we definitely want to be amped up and, and ready to go. And um, You grew up in Florida. Mm -hmm. A handful of guys on this team grew up in Florida. You a Florida State guy or were you a Florida guy growing up? Because don't tell me you were a Georgia Tech guy. Nah, I was uh, actually a Miami guy. A then. Miami guy? Yeah, it's crazy enough. Um, <laughs> growing up, I always wanted to go to Miami. But uh, with my dad in the house, being a uh, Florida Gator fan, 
I, I kind of lean toward that side of the Florida State. So there won't be any little soft childhood memories Saturday night? Nah, nah, not Not any kind of all. emotion involved. This will be straight. Uh, I mean, our quarterback that I played in high school plays for Florida State. Sure. Yeah, and it's, I know quite a bit of players that's actually from my hometown oh, on yeah, the Florida State team. So if any emotion be going inv involved, it'll be, uh, you know, who's better type of deal and all <laughs> that, you know, or whatever, and who makes more plays and stuff like that, you know. Good luck. Thank you. That's Quayshawn Neely.